So what's at stake for you there in looking at Plato's allegory and the Republic? So I guess the stake for me is this. Aside from, of course, it's an endlessly fascinating text. And as a political theorist, it's, you know, part of the repertoire, <laughs> uh, um, something I would teach, uh, you know, as one aspect of introducing people into the theoretical study of politics. But but well, well beyond that, and more specifically, I think the way I read the book, it's a, an inquiry in no small part into the intertwining of the visual and the political. And that's something of considerable interest to me because that intertwining is largely faced by political science as a discipline. So uh, as someone who has spent a fair amount of time writing in one way or another about visuality and claiming to do so as a political scientist or a political theorist, uh, it is interesting to me that while writing in a vastly simpler media environment, Plato took the visual much more seriously than the overwhelming preponderance of contemporary American, especially political scientists, even though we inhabit a complex media environment in which denying the salience, the political salience, the political significance of the visual is practically preposterous. So, so, so it's an interesting move, I suppose, within the internal economy of prestige and authority in the discipline to say, isn't this interesting that this sort of arch canonical text is more engaged with this still contemporary phenomenon in a way uh, than contemporary practitioners are. But, 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 and, and there's some nice ironies there, but, but, but also my interest is because I think there are genuine things to learn from attending to how the text entwines those matter. And there, there are things to learn both about how the world works and about how traditions of discourse and protocols of reading are constructed because most people don't read the Republic in that way. You know, the way I want to talk about it goes against, I want to claim at least, the overwhelming traditions of reception, which see Plato, insofar as they attend to the visuals, see the Republic as a manifesto of hostility to visuality.